Hey YouTube, welcome back to the See The Box channel. Happy fall. I know it's been a minute since I did a video, but here I am. And today I'm doing a mukbang for you on ramen. This is a nice ramen bowl. Um, this is a chicken cheese ramen bowl. What do I got in here? I got eggs. I got chicken. I got cheese, I got corn, and the first time I put in broccoli for the first time, so we'll be seeing that I guess some um, when you see that little bit of green there. And um, while I was stationed in Korea in the military, so I hooked on these, these are like the only ones that I buy. People that are in my town, that are my subscribers there is two places that you can buy these from and uh they are on um bay road you know that's the town the, the town the place that everybody drives down all the time the street this is the bowl that you can get it in uh, these are um three minutes in your microwave that's what they look like. So it's the same brand, but this is in a bowl. Um, these are a little bit thinner. And these are thicker. And I like these better. These are good too. Uh, but these are a little bit thicker. That's what I got in this bowl tonight that I'm going to be eating. And um, bring this up here so I can start eating it. So doesn't take long at all to make it maybe I'll do another video on it and I'll do uh, chopsticks and it's really good um, while I was stationed in Korea we had these soldiers with us that were in our company and they're named Katusas and they um, are Korean nationals that they have to do like service mandatory all the guys in the country and some of them are fortunate enough to do their time with us And so the rest of them, they do their time with just the regular K Korean army, which you call them, the Rock Army, the Republic of Korea. Um, so they would have ramen parties, and they would um, cook up ramen and commune with one another. I want to say like at least like weekly they would do that and it looked like they used to have a lot of fun so I remember that often like especially when I had this dish and then they would have kimchi too which is fermented cabbage it's it's different we used to have that in the mess hall too sometimes and you have to let me know if you've ever tried kimchi and what you think of it. It's okay. It's crunchy. It's different. It's spicy. And they were making in pots. I got a rotisserie chicken from the store. And I just broke some of that up in here. And put it in here. Whoa, whoa. That's what it does. It catches food. And to make this really pop, you can put soy sauce in it, which I did. It's easy to make. I got two pieces of American cheese in here. Got some broccoli there. And all you got to do is, like, make your ramen and then, you know, add your other stuff to it. That's good with broccoli in there. That tastes pretty good. 
I'm going to do spinach another time when I do this. I just don't remember to do it when I'm making it. And this comes with like a, a vegetable packet and a spice packet. And um, normally I don't do the whole spice packet because it's really spicy. It's, it, it, it's too hot. If you want to get cleared out because you got a cold, if you put that whole spice packet in there, it'll clear you right on out. This is kind of nice right now for fall because it's a hot meal. Let's see if I can bring some of the cheese up. I'm trying to remember. I've been drinking fluids and but I haven't ate since like earlier this morning. And so should be like more hungrier than this, but I actually have some cheese on it. So I was thinking, I was like, I'm gonna do this video and question that came into my head was mukbang dinner time meal time like when you're with your family and friends and stuff what do you talk about like what's the topic you know politics news just family business um what you're going to do on the weekend, you know, that type of thing. So, if we could talk about how I like to talk, I talk a lot. Probably don't talk as much as in these videos. I'm trying to talk more, though. It's an outlet, so I should be talking on here, but I do a lot of talking. With my family. A lot of stuff going on lately in the world of politics. How y'all feeling about all that stuff? I'm not going to go into anything in particular, but there's surely a lot going on. This is spicy. And like I said, I didn't use the whole spice packet either. And to my local subscribers, if you go and you get some of this stuff, there's so many different varieties of like foods that you can uh, get and different ramens that you can try. So let's go out there. There's two stores. And you can buy them by the case, or you can buy them single and try them out and see how you like them before you commit, like, to a whole case. Normally, I get these, I get a whole case, and they last a while, because, you know, when I'm in the mood for them, I make them. Yep. I put fresh corn in here for the farmer's market. I just cut it right off the cap. And, um... Once the doodles got done, I just threw all my stuff in there. Like, I threw the chicken in there, threw the corn in there, threw the broccoli in there. And it's just little pieces of broccoli. I don't have, like, big, gigantic pieces of broccoli in here, but it's, it's in here. So, it's easy to do if you want to do one of these. You don't have to fret. You know, you just get everything cooked up. And then, like, well, your noodles and all that. And then just throw it in. And it's just let it sit there and let it get heated. And 
that's all you gotta do and try it you know even if you mess up a couple times you'll you'll get it right if you really want to uh enjoy it it's all about loving food and wanting to make it good and you'll be able to do it so that's pretty much it thanks for tuning in remember to like share and subscribe I appreciate that very much. Have a great one, and I'll see you next time. Bye.